What's up guys, MMA Game here, bringing you another video. This video is going to be some ranked action using Bruce Lee going up against El Kukui. And I'm going to let you guys know of a, little, a few tips with Bruce Lee. I just started using him a little bit, uh, not too much, but we open up there with that nice body kick. Body kicks are really deadly. If you guys didn't know, you want to really watch out for those and not get hit by too many of those body kicks. And you want to also throw... A decent amount of body kicks as well to get your opponent guessing but in this fight is a pretty good example of just patience and distance uh, Bruce Lee has some really nice footwork so he's able to uh, cover a lot of distance and as you can see I'm staying out of range he actually backed himself up when was uh, putting himself against the cage and what I've noticed is a lot of people don't want to move forward they're a little bit reluctant to actually move forward so you can just be really patient with those people and just pick the perfect, set up the perfect combo or set up the perfect, you know, move that's going to land and counter them. So he backed all the way up against the cage, so I was able to get that nice body shot on him right there. And then he starts going for the legs a little bit, so I'm blocking low. As you can see my hands, I'm still looking to take his head clean off with that head kick because Bruce Lee has some really nice perks that complement those head kicks those roundhouse kicks but anyway we try to keep it going with the body kicks and as you can see he continues to be backing up sort of like waiting for us not really sure what his um, strategy was but anytime they're gonna let you give you that aggression advantage and they're gonna give up that whole cage you might as well just stay right on that outside line right there and let them stay against the fence because uh, you can always time some head kicks and some body roundhouse kicks and they are pretty deadly right there as I land another one. He starts throwing a lot of jabs. So I'm starting to notice that. But he goes jab, jab, body. I hit him again with the jab, body. I went for the head kick right there. Boom, we threw it. That is a deadly combination. Give him a little respect right there with the taunts. But we're still backing up. Look at that speed on that jab from Bruce Lee. Are you kidding me? He's got crazy speed. El Kukui is, I mean, borderline cheese. I would say he is a little bit cheesy. Not too bad, though, compared to some of the other fighters. He's just super, super durable. And he has really good, uh, he's just all around, like, good stats everywhere. So I would say he's kind of pretty much easy mode. So, I, I don't know. Let me know if you guys agree in the comments as well. Gets a nice body kick. Boom! And he rocks me right there with the hook. Landing some big punches, but I, I stay composed. He was ripping some shots to the body. Get a nice little sway right there to slow him down. You could tell he didn't like that one bit. And there we go. We get the head kick, but it does not rock him. But we, he gets a taste of that head kick, and I don't think he likes it. Boom. Another one for El Kukui. Coming to the end of round number one. He gets two head kicks right to the freaking dome. So now he's got to think about it. Those head kicks definitely hurt. We're going to see what he's got for us. Starting it off with some respect, but look at that. Look at that. He doesn't want any of it. He just taunts us. So boom, get the body kicks going again. Keep them guessing. Uh, if you guys didn't know, if you just throw the body kick by itself, it's kind of slow. Look at that. Turning off to the side body kick. I'm really starting to annoy him with those body kicks. And, and what those do... Oh, and he rocks us right there with the uppercut, though. Boom. Boom. We're trying to stay alive. Boom. Getting some jabs and some straights. Coming off that angle. Cutting that corner with Bruce Lee. Beautiful. Boom. Leg kick. Jab. Body kick. He's got that Bruce Lee little flick jab. Deadly. Boom. Catch the kick. See, that's something I've been practicing on is my catch kicks. It's... A, some people are really good with the timing. It's hard to um, time that catch kick. And sometimes I think even if you have low stamina, you, you block low, you can't actually get the catch kick. So I think they should actually patch that and let you be able to catch the kick at any stamina level whatsoever because uh, it, it would just be really good. But right there, we get him with that straight to head kick combo, which is just so deadly. And it's like a sniper. It's a crazy deadly combo. If you can get someone coming in with that straight to head kick, you know, you can pretty much end the fight. But we're, we're getting so much damage on him now. I guess he figures he's pretty much losing. So now he's no longer backing up into the fence and he's moving forward. 
And as he's moving forward, that's when we can really throw in some deadly counters. Boom, we're going for it again. Because he, he's leaving it open because he's moving forward so much with that jab. So he's open for that straight. And after that straight, you know, it's going to lead the opening for that head kick. But boom, he gets a head kick on us and rips the body. Now we're rocked, but we're still chilling. I probably should have caught that right there. That was a slow one. And look at this. I, I'm peppering him with shots as I'm backing up. So he's just never safe from these shots from uh, Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee's so fast and his movement's really good. Look at that. I, I pulled back on that one. I didn't throw the head kick because I didn't think it would land. Now about a minute left in round two. He starts to pump the brakes a little bit. Starts to slow down. And we are just being really, really patient. Knowing that we got a whole nother round to work with. And also taking a look at my body damage. He's getting some nice damage on my body. So I'm actually playing really careful. And I'm trying to look to catch some of those kicks. Uh, kick Those body kicks. If I can. But again, it is hard. Some people are really tricky with them. Look at that. Throwing that fake. Body kick fake. See, I was trying to fake low. And then get him with that head kick. But I messed up the uh, distance. Right there, beautiful uh, sway slip straight to a lead hook. That is a deadly combo. Boom, right there, baby. Sniped him at the end of that round with that combo. Check it out. In tight, but the straight knocks him back right in range for that head kick. And that was a deadly finish to that round two. We're going to hop right into the final round of this fight. It wasn't a title fight. It was a three-round fight. Give him bow right there with that taunt. Hold L1 and hit a taunt, and you get that respect bow right there. So I really like all the taunts that EA has added. I just want to see more and more and more. So the more the merrier with those taunts. They're just so fun to use. But again, we are flowing at this point. Pure flow. Uh, we get that nice little uh, fake out leg kick. The sidestepping leg kick, it is pretty deadly. I like to fake it a lot. You can cover some distance with the fake as well. Uh, so I'm starting to really experiment with the fakes. Get a nice little hook right there. Cut in the corner. Boom, boom. He's really starting to open up and get a lot more aggressive. And that's going to leave him open for a lot more shots. As you can see, as he's moving forward, we're ripping that body. Getting some nice sways right there with Bruce Lee. That's going to slow him down and sap some of his stamina. But again, Tony Ferguson's got crazy good stamina. Trying to stay out of range. Trying to move our head when he's, you know, planting his feet and throwing. Getting some shots. Cutting the corner with Bruce Lee. Coming to the end of round three. Boom. He gets a big shot to our body and he rips the body with hooks. He's pressuring Bruce Lee. Boom. Leg kick. I'm keeping the block up. Boom! We get a nice little combo right there. Rip the body. He comes in wild. And we clip him with a few combo. And another one binks him. And it is all over. He just he left it all on the line. He took the risk because the time in the fight was running out. And he just figured he was losing the fight. So he had to put that aggression on. And that's just right when we go into counter mode and just start clipping him with a beautiful right hook that drops him and we get the TKO finish check it out setting up with the straight over the top he actually lands the uppercut on us but it's all over Bruce Lee gets the victory in ranked let me know who you guys want to see me use next I have been trying to actually get a win with CM Punk on ranked but that is not an easy task but if I do get that I will make sure to post it guys Thank you for all the support. Make sure to head kick that like button. Send in your top knockouts with the link down below in the description. We got one coming up real soon. Till next time, this has been MMA Game. Peace.